Well, gamers, Duke's been called home from vacation for another tour of duty, which means another episode of gut-blasting nuclear-powered levels for all you Duke and Dugettes out there in PC game land. The new episode is The Birth, and the action, like Duke, is atomic. Now, this mission introduces new devastation, new enemies, and new weapons to kill them with. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to hunt down their alien queen and save the Earth babes from unholy violation. Now on your mission, you will encounter three new enemies. The pig cop battle tanks, the queen alien drones, and the bitch herself, the queen. But don't worry. Duke has also added a new weapon to his arsenal, the microwave gun. This little baby makes the bad guys swell up until they blow apart, doing damage to anything nearby which makes it the perfect weapon when you run into a whole group of enemies. But enough talk. With all the new stuff, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. So run fast, shoot straight, and like Duke says, get medieval on their asses. Now check out the next video clip and I'll quickly tell you how to make the best use of this interactive game guide. Hey, let me tell you quickly how to use your Game Wizard's interactive game guide. And before you know it, we'll be splatting alien ass all over your CRT. It's simple to open and close the content areas, like this. You can get to the contents at any time by clicking the Contents menu button. You can check out Duke in two main ways, using the strategy maps or viewing the video tutorials. As you can see, the maps are laid out by episodes and levels. You can go to any one or do them in order. When you click on one, you'll see the level map. These are all the important places to get through the level. Move your mouse pointer over them and names appear. When you click on them, you'll see a video of me wasting away alien scum, and I'm telling you how to do it, like this. You can control the video down below, like this. If you choose the video tutorials, you can get to the videos directly, like this. Oh, then there are these. You can print out the level maps with my special notes. Just use the print button on the toolbar. Finally, check out this. All the information you get in the CD. Print it. But save that printed stuff for later. Get going now and blast into Duke with video. I'll be checking in from my game lab here every now and then. Have fun and good shooting. Welcome to the first level of the berth. Start things out by taking a look around outside. Head up the rocks till you get to the narrow ledge. Blow away the turret, and then jump into the cave to get some pipe bombs. Get back down on the rocks, and then press the bloody handprint to expose a room down below, where you can pick up an atomic health and a pair of night vision goggles. Go into the first room and waste the three assault troopers that'll be waiting for you. Once they're toasted, pick up the ammo. If you check out the tape recorder, be careful not to stand too close. Blast a hole here with your pipe bomb and you'll find three large med kits. From the first room, Head into the hallway and blow away the assault trooper to your right, and then another to your left. Continue down to the hall till you get to the bathroom, where you'll have to kill an assault trooper and two octobrains. Pick up the treats, and then grab the blue access card. Head to the barracks and take out the trash. There'll be four pig cops, so be ready for some action. After all of the pig cops have been killed, be sure and take the secret elevator up here so that you can pick up the jetpack, because you'll need it later. After you're done in the barracks, 
Go across the hall to the mess hall. You'll have to grease two assault troopers in a pig cap, and then another assault trooper in the kitchen. There's lots of goodies to pick up, so look around. Once you've gotten everything, head into the cooler and waste the octobrain. Press the bloody handprint to expose a hidden room. Hit the computer and you'll get into a secret place where you can find a shrinker, some armor, and a med kit. Exit the cafeteria and go this way down the hall. After you fry the assault trooper in the pig cop, flip the right two switches to gain access to the next room. There's plenty of bad guys here, so be ready. Clear out the room with your shotgun. And then use your blue access card to get to the central area. Once you're in here, you can pick up the red access card and some other stuff, plus an RPG that's hiding behind door number one. When you leave the central area, make sure you're ready for the enforcer that'll pop out to ambush you. Hit the outer two switches to unlock the door to an elevator. Drop a pipe bomb to say hello to the enforcer that's down there waiting. Then head down the elevators to get to a storage room where you'll run into two sentry drones. And then retreat back up so that the sentry drones smash into the elevator. Back on top of the second elevator, head into this room and take out the two assault troopers and an enforcer. After they're wasted, you can pick up some ammo, health, and armor. Take the elevator back down to the storage room and grab whatever is lying around. Once you're all loaded up, use your red access card to continue on. Head up into this ventilation shaft and crawl through till you get to the end. Drop a pipe bomb and then get out of the way to make room for a serious explosion. You're about to walk into a heavy ambush, and the way around it is this. Drop down into the room and move forward a bit to trigger the ambush. Once everyone starts to come at you, use the jetpack that you got earlier to fly back up into the ventilation shaft. From here, you can drop pipe bombs on everyone till they're nothing but bloody spots. Oh, and mop up the remains. Hit this switch to expose a set of four switches behind you. Shoot the second and fourth switches to expose yet another switch behind you. Flip that, and then head through the vault door. Once you go through the vault door, be ready for a pig cop and an enforcer. After you waste them, hit the switch in the room that they're in to unlock the next door. While you're heading down this long hallway, be sure not to miss the excellent secret area at the end of the ventilation shaft. After you get to the end of the hallway and take the elevator down, drop a pipe bomb here, and then head back up the elevator before you trigger the bomb to expose what's inside the three rooms. When you head back down the elevator, be ready for a monster mash.
kill the bad guys. And pick up whatever ammo and health you can find. Then slam the auto destruct switch to move on to the next level. Welcome to your neighborhood Duke Burger, where action is always on the menu. Head out into the street, where you're gonna have to deal with a bunch of pig cops and recon patrol vehicles. Taking pot shots at them from the alley is a good way to avoid their fire as they fly by. Once you've cleared the skies of some pig cops, head clockwise around the Duke Burger and you can pick up some pipe bombs. Kill the pig cop, and then keep going until you come upon an alley with two more recon patrol vehicles and a pig cop battle tank. Fall back and take out the airborne piggies, and then return to destroy the battle tank. After you've taken care of the last few recon patrol vehicles, you'll have to destroy another pig cop battle tank at the end of the street. Lure him out, and then nail him with pipe bombs as you hide behind this wall. Jump into the dumpster to get the chain gun ammo. This will trigger an explosion that opens up a secret place where you can get a large med kit. Although you can't enter through this garage door, opening it up a crack and firing at the enforcer behind it will make your life a little easier once you're inside. Where is it? Make an order at the drive through window, and then quickly get up onto the wall. From here, Jump onto the sign and then up to where you can now grab the blue access card, along with some ammo. Now that you're in, head towards the counter and serve the pig cops their daily allowance of lead. After you've secured the front area, clean out the kitchen by throwing in a few pipe bombs. After clearing out the front of the restaurant, head back to the bathrooms and kill any enemies you find. In the men's bathroom at the end of the hall, fire a shrink ray at yourself in the mirror. This will make you small enough to get through the ventilation shaft to your right that leads to the kitchen. From the kitchen, go down this hallway, blast the slime rags to the left, and then turn the corner and take out the enforcers. Be careful, because another enforcer might surprise you from behind. After you get the red access card, you can flip this switch to open a secret place up high where you can get a lovely parting gift. Now that you've got the red access card, you can go to the cooler. There you'll find some live targets to practice your aim on. After you clear out the cooler, check in here for some weapons and ammo. Blow out this ventilation shaft and you can score yourself a portable med kit. Throw a pipe bomb down here to clear out the laser trip bombs. When the dust settles, head down and blow away any enemies you encounter to the left. When you get to the end of the conveyor belt, Nobody messes with follow this corridor, take out the Enforcer and Queen Alien drone, and then move into the dog pound. Blast open the kennels here and you can pick up some ammo. When you've gotten all the stuff, keep moving on till you get to the office. Blow away the enforcer and then flip the switch under the desk. Who wants, uh... 
This will open a door where you have to nail just one more bad guy before finishing the level. It's time to take a trip through the shopping bag. Head out to the parking lot and grease the assault trooper and pig cop, then get the RPG ammo. Next, jump the fence, open the garage door, and blow out the ceiling turret up high in the assault trooper hiding behind the boxes. Pick up the shotgun, then head for the other garage door and blast the assault trooper in the ceiling turret. Once they're toasted, jump into the flame and pick up the pipe bombs and atomic health, then get back out to the parking lot. Kick out the front window and jump into the store. Destroy the ceiling turret, and then turn the corner and waste the pig cop. Once he's dispatched, switch to your RPG and get ready to take on a pig cop battle tank. Blow a hole in this wall to expose a secret place where you can grab some med kits. After you've picked up the free prizes, get back out and neutralize the two ceiling turrets. When you come around the corner, there will be two queen alien drones and an assault trooper waiting to cause you some trouble. After you've cleaned out the aisles, do a little shopping on top of the shelves. Pick up everything you can and drop down over here and blow away the assault trooper and queen alien drone that will be guarding the blue access card. Now that you have the blue access card, you can continue through this door, but be prepared for the assault trooper and pig cop battle tank that'll be waiting for you on the other side. It's time to take a trip to your grocer's freezer. Open the door and grease the three assault troopers, then head into the room and shoot the ceiling turrets to your left and right. In here you'll find three more assault troopers that you can use for target practice with your shotgun. After you waste them, get on top of the shelves and grab some booty. Jump up here into the ventilation shaft and blow out the turret down at the end. Continue down the shaft and drop a pipe bomb on the welcoming committee in the room below. And then, blast the ceiling turret. Once the coast is clear, head to the other end of the room and flip the bottom and left switches to score the yellow access card. Exit the room through the ventilation shaft. Continue through this shaft and the next one until you pop out on the other side, where you'll encounter a pig cop battle tank. Destroy him with your RPG, and then use your yellow access card to open this door. An assault commander is hanging around on the other side, so watch out. Freeze him, put the ceiling turret on ice, and then finish off the frozen assault commander. Move forward and turn the corner, where you'll have to destroy another turret and an assault trooper. When the room is clear, go ahead and stick a pipe bomb in here to clear it out so that you can pick up the goodies inside. Make your way to the checkout area, where some friendly assault troopers will be there for you to blow away. At the last checkout stand, the two buttons to the right will open up the door to the manager's office. Be sure to keep an eye out here for the enforcer that'll pop out and surprise you. Take the stairs up to the manager's office, where you're gonna waste two assault troopers. The ceiling turret up to the right. And then, an assault commander straight ahead. To get the red access card, shoot this switch, and then immediately turn around and shoot the switch up high and behind you. Don't be surprised if this takes a few tries, because it's a real pain in the ass. Drop down out of the manager's office, and fry the assault commander and ceiling turret at the end of the hall. In the produce room, you'll find two queen alien drones, and a bunch of good stuff for your shopping cart. Flip the trash compactor door switch, and then head this way. Clear out any resistance you encounter, and keep going till you get to the trash compactor room. Walk into the slime to expose this switch, and then step back and shoot the switch to expose a four-way switch near the entrance. 
This last step is a little tricky. You're gonna flip the switch four times so that it goes through each position once till the switch is back where it started. At each position, the switch will stop one of the pistons in the corridor, and you need to stop each piston when it is high enough so that you can pass underneath. Once you got all the pistons stopped high enough to let you through, make your way down the hall till you get to the auto-destruct switch and finish off the level. After you pop out of the sewer, blow away the pig cop in the ticket booth. Inside the booth, you'll find a switch that'll lower the force field so you can get inside Babeland. After you pass through the entrance gate, kill the pig cop that'll drop down on you from the left. Continue on till you get to the central area, where you'll have to deal with the pig cop behind the boxes around the left corner, another pig cop high and to the right, and then an assault trooper and an assault commander. Once you've secured the area, use the boxes to get up high, and then jump across to the other side where you'll want to shoot the bottom two and upper right switches to open up the way to the blue access panel. Now that you've cleared the way to the blue access panel, it's time to get the blue access card. Make your way to the D cup ride, where you'll have a wide variety of nasties to blow apart. Clean up the area, and then head underwater to annihilate the Octobrains, Assault Troopers, and Slimer Pods. Pick up whatever you can find, and then resurface. Shoot each of the three switches on the walls, and the center pillar will open up to expose the blue access card. Use your blue access card to get into the shooting gallery. Wax the pig cop in the ticket booth. Then, turn the corner and blow open a hole in the far wall to expose a secret place that contains some ammo and a queen alien drone. Ice the alien with your freeze thrower. Shoot the second and fourth targets to open up another secret place to the right, where you'll find a pig cop, some armor, and the red access card. While you're here, check behind the targets for an RPG, and wait around for the two atomic healths that'll float by with the ducks. Time to check out Babes of the Caribbean. Fry the pig cop in the booth and then blow away the one that'll try and rush you from behind. Use the red access card to lower the force field, and then continue on. As you progress through the hallway, you'll have to waste two assault troopers. The queen alien drone that will pop up from behind you. Two more queen alien drones ahead. And finally, two pig cops in the booth to the right. When you pick up the RPG ammo here, three pig cops will appear up high across the toxic waste stream, so watch out. If you can get up to where the pig cops are after you kill them, there's some armor and a med. This is also a good place to take pot shots at the pig cop recon patrol vehicle. Hop in one of the cars and take a ride downstream. The blast opens a hole in the far wall where there'll be three pig cops to kill. Then jump up to the right to get the RPG ammo. Continue downstream. Till you get here, and then jump up to the left. Stay just on the edge, 
Plug the three assault troopers across the way. And then throw a couple of pipe bombs in the opening to the left, where a couple of little pig cops are waiting to die. Move forward to draw out the pig cops. Trigger the pipe bombs, and then repeat the process at the next opening. Keep heading downstream. And then hop up to the right here. Shoot the assault trooper in the distance, and then slide left and pump the Battle Lord with your RPG till he finally goes down. Circle around the perimeter of the deck that you're on and pick up some ammo and destroy the other cannons. Once everything's dead, dive underwater, where you'll have to take out some sharks, octobrains, and slimer pods. Destroy everything, grab whatever you can find. and then surface up inside the other ship, where a teleporter will be waiting to carry you away. Step into the teleporter and you'll get put topside. Flip the light switch to expose an assault trooper across the way. Grease him. Pick up the party favors, and then hit the other switch to open up the big doorway on the other ship. A battle lord will be there to say hello, so send a few RPG rounds his way to show him that you care. Once he's gone, make your way across to the other side. Take out the assault trooper to your right, grab the atomic health and ammo, and then get up onto the wall. Come get some. Circle around to the other side, and you'll run into a queen alien drone. Freeze him, shatter him, and then move along. The first and third switches here will open the door to the left, but first, go right and pick up the goodies. Make your way through the final corridor, where you'll have to kill two Queen Alien drones. And then a third. And finally a fourth, before you can hit the auto-destruct switch and go on to the next level. Let's visit the pigsty. Pick up the chain gun, and then head around to the left. The car is going to crash into the pig station, so stay clear of the explosion. Once the dust settles, use your RPG to smash the pig cop battle tank. Grab any weapons or ammo that the dead piggies may have left you, and then secure the area. From the main entrance, continue up to the left till you get here. Grab whatever you can find, and then blow away the pig cop standing behind the open door. Head in and kill the enforcer to the left. Then go forward and blast the remaining bad guys with a pipe bomb. Pick up the stuff on the counter, and then get back to the window and drop a pipe bomb on the enforcer down below. When the coast is clear, go down to the security control room. If you check the security monitor, it's telling you to duck, which you better do anyways, cause an assault commander is gonna start firing on you from up high and behind.
Use your blue access card to continue through here, and then head to the right and pummel a pig cop battle tank with your RPG. Once it's destroyed, go down the ramp and through the door, where you'll have to deal with a pig cop and an enforcer. Grab the treats, and then clear out the observation room where there'll be even more good stuff for you, both here and in the interrogation room next door. Time to liberate the bad guys in jail from their pathetic lives. You're gonna have to waste an octobrain, an assault commander, and a bunch of protozoid slimer pods. After you've thoroughly destroyed every living thing in sight, get the red access card and whatever ammo you can find inside the jail cells. Now that you've got the red access card, make your way back upstairs to the red access panel, where you can get into the police chief's office. There's going to be an assault commander to shrink, and then you can grab the yellow access card and the stuff that's in the secret place. When you've got everything you need, go back to the main entrance. Waste the pig cop and then use your yellow access card to gain access to the courtroom. Where it's time to bring some Duke justice to the world. Toast the assault captains, pick up the ammo, and then go to work on the battle lord that'll be sitting on the bench. After you've blown him apart with your RPG, head into the courtroom and slay the queen alien drone, then clear out the room. Get up onto the judge's seat, and a pig cop battle tank will roll out to greet you, so look out. Once he's destroyed, you can press the button by the judge's seat to enter the jury chamber and hit the auto-destruct switch. Otherwise, raise the picture behind you and head for the secret level, Area 51. First, you'll want to jump into the dumpster to get the pipe bombs. Then, head into the parking lot, blow away the ceiling turret, and then use the bumper on the back of the fire truck to get on top and get the atomic health. Go into the post office and you'll have to shoot out a ceiling turret before you can grab the shotgun in the secret compartment. Continue on and you'll encounter a pig cop by the main entrance, another pig cop to the right, and then a few more in the room ahead. Flip the switch behind the desk to open the doors to the mail chutes, and then slide down to the mail room and blast apart the protozoid slimer pods. A pig cop and an enforcer will come at you from the opposite staircase, so be ready for them. Head up the stairway where they came from, and you'll have to kill an enforcer and a queen alien drone. After they're dead, go into the locker room and take out the pig cop that's down and to the right. Take a leak to get a few extra health points, and then check the lockers to get some armor, health, and the blue access card. In the last locker is the entrance to a secret place where you'll find two queen alien drones and some more health and ammo.
Use the blue access panel to gain entry to the mail processing room. There's going to be a ceiling turret, an assault trooper, and some protozoid slimers to welcome you. Some more bad guys will appear as you take a ride on the conveyor belt, so keep your gun out and kill every living thing in sight. After you move into the next room, blow up these Slimer pods. Holy shit. And then jump off here and send some firepower towards the Queen Alien drone and Slimer pods hanging out at the other end of the room. Get back on the conveyor belt and pick up the atomic health. Waste any opposition that you encounter, and keep going till you get to this room. Shoot the gas tanks to soften up any enemies that are hiding out, and then move in and mop things up. Get on the conveyor belt again. And you'll have to kill some protozoid slimers before you can come upon a portable medkit and the red access card. Now that you've got the red access card, make your way back to the garage doors, where you can use the red access card to raise the doors enough for you to crawl under. Head outside and destroy the queen alien drones to the left. Then move forward to the burned out postal truck and hop in to get the atomic health. Continue on around the corner to the left and blow away the two queen alien drones. At least 20 bad guys are gonna come at you as soon as you hop into the bunker, including some enforcers, pig cops, queen alien drones, and a couple of pig cop battle tanks. An extra weapon you have at your disposal are the explosives in the alley that you can trigger with these switches. These do a real nice job of clearing the area of any life forms. Stay down and keep firing till the area is secure. After you've wasted everything in sight and think you're safe, move out of the bunker. And use your RPG to plug the battle ore that's now waiting for you around the corner to the right. After he's dead, Check out the garage to resupply your ammo and pick up the yellow access card. There'll be another battle lord to deal with, so finish him, go back to the yellow access panel, and open the way to the auto-destruct switch. Time to clean out Triple X Stacy's House of Pleasure. You're going to have two assault troopers to the right. And another one when you open up the garage door. As you cruise down the corridor, you'll periodically encounter a pig cop or two that need to be put out of your misery. Check out Stacy's bedroom. And then go in here to blow up the tanks and destroy even more pig cops. Continue on till you get to this room, where you can pick up some health, armor, and the blue access card. Use the blue access card to open the shutters so you can throw some pipe bombs on the three pig cops waiting for you on the ledge. Destroy any opposition that you run into outside. 
and then get up onto this small ledge across the way. Jump through the window into the stand-up comedy club, then have some laughs as you slaughter a pig cop and his friends. Hit the switch to open up this window, but watch out for the assault commander that's hanging out on the other side. Shrink him down to size, and then squash him. Follow this ledge to your left till you get to a door at the end that'll open up into a room with three enforcers. Soften them up with your pipe bombs, and then finish them off. Once you've secured the area, you can pick up the red access card, as well as some ammo and an atomic health. Pick up whatever you can find, flip the switch to raise the water level, and then go for a swim. Wax the sharks that'll be in your way. And then surface here and take out an assault trooper to the left, and then two more to the right. If you need it, grab the weapons and ammo in the lockers, and blow apart any opposition waiting for you at the other end of the room. Continue on up this hallway till you come upon an Octobrain and a Queen Alien drone. Grease them, and then neutralize the two Queen Alien drones in the room to the left. When you've secured the area, head down into the well and get the RPG and portable med kit, then get back up to the surface. Use the red access card to get back outside, where you'll have to destroy a pig cop battle tank. Once he's toasted, open the garage door down below to get to the auto-destruct switch and wrap up the level. Your next mission is to send the local nuclear reactor into critical mass. Head out the garage door and immediately you'll have to take on a pig cop battle tank to the right. Blow him away. And then get up to the loading dock and go through the garage door to the warehouse. You'll have an enforcer to kill straight ahead. And then another to the left. After they're dispatched, jump onto the boxes and get the atomic health and ammo. And then climb the spiral staircase to the next room. Watch out when you open the door, cause the whole room is booby trapped. As soon as the explosions start and the ceiling begins to collapse, run through to the other side, where you'll have to take on an enforcer. After the blast door closes, a queen alien drone will pop out from the right, so be ready. Crawl through this ventilation shaft into the trash compactor. The walls will start closing in as soon as you're inside, so move quick. Flip the underwater switch to open up the pressure maintenance hatch, and then get out. Get the large med kit and atomic health, and then go down this hallway to the end. After you get there, Two queen alien drones will ambush you, so be ready. Pick up the stuff that's left behind. And then enter the next room where you'll have a third queen alien drone to deal with. Take a lift up to this storage room, where you'll get to play target practice with three pig cops. Grab the health and ammo once you've secured the area. Flip the switch to open the gate and move on. There's some enforcers ahead, so be prepared.
When the enforcers are all dead, throw a pipe bomb into this room to soften up the three pig cops inside. Step in and finish them off. Pick up the health and ammo. And then press these switches to get at the blue access card. Blue access card will let you enter the reactor core room. Use your Devastator to annihilate the Octobrains and Protozoid Slimer Pop. And then dive underwater to activate the emergency override switches and initiate the reactor meltdown sequence. Pick up the yellow access card in the Atomic Health and then get back to the surface. There's a secret place with an RPG, and another secret place up high with some ammo, if you have a jetpack. Now that you have the yellow access card, take a right and you'll find the yellow access panel. After you waste the two Queen Alien drones, go into the office to the right, where there'll be another Queen Alien drone, along with some ammo and the red access card. Duck out of the building and get away fast to avoid the explosion. Once the whole facility is leveled, jump up here and hit the auto-destruct switch to go on to the next level. You don't really have to go underwater if you don't want to, but if you do, there'll be lots of sharks and octobrains to kill, and an RPG to reward you for your troubles. Down under you'll also find a secret place inside the ship that has some armor, steroids and ammo, as well as a queen alien drone. To get on board the ship, Swim to the orange light underneath the crane arm, and a hoist will lift you up onto the deck. Once you're there, you'll have everything from ceiling turrets to assault commanders firing on you, so move fast and keep shooting. From the bow of the ship, you can jump up here and run towards the rear decks, where a Queen Alien drone will drop down on you. You'll find an atomic health and a hidden entrance to the left. Get inside and blow away the assault trooper. Fight your way through the assault troopers to the center staircase, and then head upstairs. When you get upstairs, you'll have about 10 assault troopers to kill, along with an assault commander for good measure. Move forward to the bridge, where you'll have to kill two Queen Alien drones before you can get the blue access card. Grab the junk in the bathroom, and then flip the switch on the central pillar to open up a hatch that will let you drop down a shaft to the lower deck. The first thing you have to do here is waste the Queen Alien drone. If you can, it's best to do this from inside the shaft. Then, throw a pipe bomb to take care of two assault troopers. And then circle around and blow away two more. Grab all the ammo, and then fight your way down the hall till you get to the blue access panel. Use the blue access card to take the elevator down. First you'll have to dispatch a queen alien drone. And then a couple of assault troopers. 
followed by a barrage of ceiling turrets. After you've cleared out the hallway, go to the doorway at the end and enter the captain's quarters. There'll be a queen alien drone in your face almost immediately. Followed by an assault commander to the right. And then another queen alien drone over by the bed. As soon as you finish mopping up, go over to the captain's desk and pick up the red access card. From the captain's quarters, cruise back down and use your red access card to get into the engine room. Drop a pipe bomb or two to weaken the nasties that are waiting for you down below, and then take your freeze thrower and go to work on the queen alien drones. There'll be four to kill before you can go on to the next room. Here's how to survive getting the yellow access card. Run into the room and get behind this box. From here, you can ice the queen alien drone without getting fired on by the battle lord. Jump on top of the box to get the access card in a box of pipe bombs. Keep dropping pipe bombs on the battle lord till he finally goes down, and you've just scored a pat trick. When the coast is clear, jump down and get the atomic health. If you time it just right, you can run through the pistons to get a second atomic health, although you should probably save your game before you try. From the engine room, head to the cargo bay. Drop a couple of pipe bombs down to clear out the slimer pods. Then take the elevator down. Lure out the assault troopers and blow them away, and then use your yellow access card to keep moving on. A queen alien drone will drop down on you, and a second one will come at you from the next cargo bay. Wax them, and then continue. In the second cargo bay, you'll have a new assortment of enemies to deal with, so be ready. Take out the bad guys to the left, squash the assault commander, and then ride down to the end of the conveyor belt where there'll be one more queen alien drone to kill. If you have any jetpack fuel left, you can save yourself a lot of time and damage here by simply flying up top. Blow away the slimer pods, and then pick up whatever ammo you can. Drop some pipe bombs over on the right to get rid of some more slimer pods, and then drop some bombs on the left to weaken the battle lord that's waiting below. Take the elevator down and plug the battle lord with RPG rounds. When he's good and dead, Jump into the water and keep going down till you get to the auto-destruct switch. You finally made it to the Lair of the Queen. From the torture room, teleport down to the central area. You'll encounter some resistance as you make your way to the small center room. Here, flip the first and third switches on the pillar. This raises the walls to the first circular chamber. Come get when you first enter the circular chamber, 
you'll have four assault troopers to nail. Waste them, and then head clockwise till you reach this point. Here you can lay down a couple of pipe bombs to clear out all of the Slimer pods. Once they're blown apart, go in, secure the area, and pick up all of the ammo. Go up into this tunnel and you'll find a mother load of ammo. This is also a good place to clean out the enemies that are hiding out in the inner circular chamber. Take some shots, drop some pipe bombs, and then jump inside and kill any survivors. Step up onto this platform, and a wall will open up exposing an enforcer. Kill him, and then jump down into the pool. Here you'll toggle a switch, which will enable a second switch. This opens up a wall underwater in the inner circular chamber. It's time for a little swim. Go back to the outer circular chamber and get underwater. Firing at this pillar will trigger an explosion that destroys the Slimer pods. Clear out any octobrains that you see. And then go blast apart the second group of Slimer pods. Now you can enter this room, where you have to flip these two switches. And then get between the pistons to get at the next two switches. Flip these, and this will open a door that lets you get at the blue access card. Dodge the pistons to get back out, and then waste the queen alien drone and resurface. Get back inside the inner circular chamber. Hop up here, and another wall will open, this time letting loose a battle lord. Lure him out into the chamber and then use the central pillar as cover while you blast him with your RPG. Once you've killed the Battle Lord, go up to where he was and use your blue access card to open a panel that will expose yet another switch. Hit this switch and watch the security monitor if you want to know what it does. Get back to the center room and a new set of three switches will have appeared. Flip the second and third switches to raise the walls to a second circular chamber that is almost identical to the first, and from here you're going to follow the same steps as before. This is the only part of the second circular chamber that isn't the same as the first. Wind your way through the cogs until you've hit each of the three switches. This will let you get at the red access card. After you have the red access card, go through and kill the battle lord that'll be waiting for you in the inner circular chamber, same as before. Once he's dead, get inside and use your red access card to open a panel that'll let you get at the yellow access card and the last switch you need to pull. Again, check the security monitor if you want to see what's going on. It's about time we wrapped up this episode. Get back out to the central area and use your yellow access card to open the wall that exposes the purple toxic stream. Your protective boots won't last very long on this stuff, so use your steroids to make yourself run faster. Go through the doors at the end and go back to the pool water. Dive down and swim forward until you get the atomic health. This will open a portal to the inner chamber of the queen herself. If you stay back away from the portal, you'll be able to get shots off on the queen without any queen alien drones seeing where you are. Fall back and get ammo as needed, and keep nailing the queen with your RPG and Devastator until she finally gets what she deserves. To start things out, kill any opposition that's hanging around. 
and then blow apart this small building. This will expose a button that you can press to open a nearby door. Go inside, and then take the elevator up to where you'll find a teleporter. Come get some. Take the teleporter to get back outside by the RV, where you're gonna have to engage in some serious combat. Expect to encounter at least four pig cops, an assault trooper, a couple of recon patrol vehicles, and a pig cop battle tank. After you've annihilated your enemies, go around the other side of the RV and waste the pig cop and assault trooper. Pick up any ammo you see. Then go back and get the RPG ammo on top of the RV. Jump onto the shed and lay a pipe bomb on the ventilation fan. This will expose a shaft that'll let you get down into the complex. Once you're down in the complex, whip out your shotgun and take out the trash. After you pick up the blue access card, another pig cop and an assault trooper will come at you, so stay alert. Get the remaining ammo and then go to the teleporter. Take the teleporter back outside and then fight your way past a sea of assault troopers and a pig cop battle tank to get to the blue access panel. Re-enter the complex and you'll have two assault troopers, an enforcer and a pig cop to kill as you make your way to the elevator. Go through this door, and then continue through this door, where you'll encounter some light resistance. Once you've cleaned out the area, jump up here to open a door in the next room where you can get an atomic health. Make your way back upstairs. Blow away the pig cap, and then hit the space bar at the cash register to open a panel in the next room. This will give you a brand new portable med kit. Hit the middle switch to open the door to the elevator shaft. It's a long way down, so use whatever jetpack fuel you might have to break your fall. When you get to the bottom, you'll encounter some resistance, so watch out. There's a queen alien drone waiting to get you behind door number one, so here's a good way to take care of them. Lay a couple of pipe bombs right by the force field, and then take the lift up to where you can switch off force field number one. Hit switch number one, and then immediately trigger the pipe bombs to blow apart the queen alien drone. Go up the ramp past entrance number one to the alien autopsy room. Use your freeze thrower to kill the two queen alien drones, and then pick up the goodies. Press the switch to get some shotgun ammo. And then check the body drawers to find the red access card. Some more drones will show up after you grab the card, so keep your freeze thrower ready and stay sharp. Get back here and switch off force field number two, and then move in and waste anything that gets in your way. Blast a hole in the wall to open a secret place where you can get some health and ammo. After you're stocked up, continue on till you get to the alien spacecraft hangar. At the hangar, you'll want to have your freeze thrower ready to deal with a queen alien drone. After you ice him, there'll be a second one to kill around the corner and then another one behind the ship at the red access panel. Use your red access card to get to the transporter, 
This will take you up to the hangar control room, where you'll have three enforcers to kill before you can pick up the yellow access card. Shrink the assault commander that will sneak up on you, and then get whatever ammo you can. Flipping this switch will unlock the window shutters to the room, just in case you wanted some fresh air. Up in the hangar control room, you're going to see this screen giving you the missile launch code. Remember it, because you'll need it at the end. Take the teleporter back down to the hangar. Two queen alien drones will be waiting for you, along with an enforcer on the other side of the spacecraft. Waste everything, and then get to the yellow access panel. Take the elevator down to the missile launch control room. Stay to the far left wall of the elevator, because the Battle Lord is going to be waiting for you right by the entrance. The Battle Lord always starts in the same place, and he won't move if you don't. So inch your way to the right where you can get a shot off on him without getting in harm's way. Soften him up with your microwave gun, and then finish him with your shotgun and go up to the four-way switch. Flip the four-way switch to the second position to raise the security code switches for missile number one. Then, enter the first security code sequence to enable the launch switch for missile one. Next, flip the four-way switch to the third position. This will raise the security code switches for missile number two. Enter the second security code sequence to enable the launch switch for missile two, and then flip the four-way switch to position four. Hit the launch switches for both missiles and then watch them fly. Launching the missiles will expose the auto-destruct switch, so go slam it and finish off the level. Thanks, gamer, for spending some quality Duke time together. Duke is one unique, sweet fight and do. I look forward to his next adventures, wherever they might be. And you'll know that Game Wizards will be there also. Check out our other interactive game guides for many of your favorite CD-ROM games. Later.